Hey guys, how's it going? Phil Montalioni, the book peddler here, looking a little rough. It's late at night. I got my buddy. You want to be on camera? Yeah. Got my buddy Brayman over here. You can wave. He's uh, <laughs> he's part human, part Alaskan. <laughs> but no, we're packing up because there's a big gun show slash flea market tomorrow morning. And so, uh, Sean, he's always, him and his wife have helped me out throughout the years. They've been big proponents of the shop. And so, um, anyways, we're packing right now. I don't know what time it is. It's late, but we're getting ready and set, getting tents, getting um, uh, 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 tables and, and, and shelving and all sorts of stuff to get set for the show. It's a great show. It's in Unadilla, New York. So, of course, I'm taking, I'll just show you my shelves. So, I'm taking all the books i can for fishing hunting firearms i'm taking some rare books the shelving back there i will be bringing a couple of these beauties just basically to show off you know the mckenzie book the halford book i mean what's great is that you know i plan on doing decent at this show i've always traditionally done pretty well but what's great is for a 20 dollars setup um, it's like free advertising, not free advertising, but I've gained lifelong customers through doing this. So it, it's, you know, really great to take advantage of it. So I'll show you my buddy's truck here. So I'm, I got to load up this. Here's the shelving. It's a lot of work to get prepared for one of these things. So his truck is filled. Boxes of books, ephemera. I'm going to get some antiques there. And we're going to get the bed of the truck loaded. So... Anyhow, I'm going to walk back in. So what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of video at the um, at the event. I'll give you a nice little overview. Maybe you'll see uh, uh, some crowd interaction. I don't know, something like that. But we'll try to make it entertaining, fun for you guys, and uh, see what it's like to set up at one of these things. It's a ton of work. I've been packing for about, shoot, I think three hours now. Generally, it takes four to five hours for me to get packed up. And, um, you know, it's kind of the behind-the-scenes stuff that most people don't see. They think you just you grab the stuff, you pack it, you, 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 you know, like it's cakewalk. And it's anything but. It'll take me about a week to get, it, to get my shop resituated for the following weekend. It's a lot of work. It's worth it. I love it. And uh, that's what I'm in the business for. So, anyhow, I'll turn this camera on in, in the morning. And we'll get to it. We'll start the drive up and let's try to make a little money. All right. All right. How's it going, guys? Running on about four hours of sleep. I got my buddy Sean back there. You met him yesterday. <laughs> so got a book babe in the seat right here next to me. And we're, we're cruising up. I could see the sun real good. And now it's behind the tree. So I'll show it to you when I see it again. But we got to run up there. All right get our get our area set up again normally i brought um if i didn't mention it before half antiques half books and i've always done traditionally pretty well this the majority is going to be books so we'll see what happens show show you some people there and whatnot pick on some people with you so all right we're gonna get moving i'm gonna hit you on this i'll show you the sun coming up real nice morning Hold on, let me get cooking so that you can see it. I can't edit my videos, so it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Let's see, where are you, son? Here we go. Hey, you can join the sun, enjoy the sunrise with me, huh? All right, guys. I'll see you at the show. All right, we're at the market. I'm doing a video, man. At I'm at the market. I'll show you the setup, guys. Everybody cleared out, so I don't like doing this camera work when there's people here. It's a lot of small game hunting. I brought in some New York histories. There's Brayman, the native. <laughs> Keep the fire and water away from him. It's the Halford book I got up. The Mackenzie. Brought some General MacArthur sets. So I got a nice setup here. Some gun belts, firearm books, fishing, magazines. Here's the cases we got going on. The cases, there's my bear. And I'll just show you some of this. It's just starting. Just getting started. So anyways, people been 
coming through did already made a bunch of sales so and they've just begun so all right i'll get a little more footage later we'll see you guys what's going on guys i'm back and i completely forgot to take video at the thing it was smoking hot there was a lot of good people got my friends over here that been helping <laughs> book babe and braminator so um it was a great time i'm sorry i forgot to take video but made a bunch of sales it's like 80 something degrees out so what i'll do we're unloading hold on the truck unloaded you saw that pack now i gotta unload this so it's a lot of work doing this stuff but uh anyhow you you make a lot of new contacts, a lot of uh, pros business prospects, so it's it's always worth it for me to do these things. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close out this video, and um, I'll do a little bit something more to add to it. Uh, maybe I'll take you somewhere and run my mouth or something. So, all right, guys, hope you're well out there. See you in a bit. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you this new, beautiful uh, uh, top hutch piece that I picked up. I bought off a of buddy today and then actually i'm going to take you in the back to show you the um the graveyard back here i'm going to talk to you about the books i've sold and whatnot um get an idea what was going on that day but uh check this out here so this is this is a beautiful you're actually looking at it upside down but this is a um i be believe according to my buddy don the top of a philadelphia hutch and let me let me get around the back here. I want to get you to the bottom so that you can see these dovetails. It's definitely early. It's definitely early. So this is the bottom. You got the old you got the old screws in there. Definitely early. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna show you the top piece of the crown. So I'll show you this when it's put together. But here's here here's what'll go on the top. The crown piece. And this has little acorns on the bottom. Again, my buddy thinks that it's Philadelphia made. I'm not sure if that's the case or not, but I do have, I am the book man, I do have antique furniture books. So we'll see what era this is. I mean, I used to, I used to help out a guy, I used to help out an auctioneer that uh, taught me a little bit about the dovetails, the spacing, the style of them. Um, but it's been a while, so I'm going to have to use some reference books. I'll take a video when I get it out, guys. Okay, guys, I got it inside, so of course it needs a very good cleaning. But that's how the top looks. She's real pretty. The shelves are adjustable. I know it's difficult to see in this light, but, um, there, this might be a little better. Needs a very good clean, but this is going to be another beautiful addition to the shop. If I had to say offhand... I would think that this piece is like 1830s. Um, could be wrong, but very nice addition. As you can see, my shop is still just, it's so packed. Like I said, it's going to take me a, a while to get everything resituated and set up. But my buddy uh, Steve Forjax up the road, Brickhouse Salvage and Antiques, helped me move this in. And he just gave me a lead to another potential small pick. That's, uh, you know, 30 minutes away, so I'm going to make some calls. Actually, before I do, I I'm going to tell you guys what sold, and I'm going to take you for a little walk out in the graveyard here so that you can see what's uh, right behind my shop. You might enjoy it. All right, so I'm walking out back, and I'm going to show you, show you the graveyard back here. It's very early, nice historical graveyard of the town. The town actually has two of them. This is the one I'm behind. So what sold this weekend? I sold a two-volume set, Birds in New York, by Eaton, along with the portfolio of all the plates in it. So it was a very nice, uh, a very nice sale. And then I sold. Um, remember the map books that I found in the previous video? If you haven't, you can you can check on it. Um, but I sold those two map books of the Catskills, one of the Adirondacks, and and then a lot of the rest of it. I almost sold the Trappers in New York first edition. Let me show you the sites. It's a really beautiful early graveyard. We'll walk down. So then I sold a lot of books between the $10 and the um, $40 range. So I'm going to take you to some of these graves here. I like graveyards. They're really cool. I've, been, I've become like the unofficial tour guide of the Smithfield Graveyard. But check out this stone here. I don't know if you guys will have interest. 
But this guy was from Ireland. Sacred to, to, to the memory of Andrew Bailey, a native of Till Collie County of Monaghan, Ireland, who departed this life October 1849. And I think his wife Jane is down there. And now I took, a, my one buddy is a town historian of Green. And he actually knows what these symbols mean and stuff. And so I remember a couple of them, but James Harrison, 1854. Now you want to see somebody cool that's parked in here? I'll show you. Give you a little history, history lesson. It was actually out here clean off this, this stone. This is Jonathan Phelps, New York, corporal to General Washington's aid during the Revolutionary War, 1763 to 1857. How cool. So we got General Washington's aid in this graveyard. My buddy said this one here, like a staff with a flag on it. It's military. Look at this. There's some Masonic ones in here. I'll show you the crypts. Hold on. See, some of these have fallen in on themselves. And the information is written above them. There's some more over here. But old graveyards are really, really cool. And Mr. Huddleston and uh, Roser, they really... They really keep up with this. I'll show you these big slate stones back here. I actually have a customer that has studied um, the stone makers from the area. He says there were four main ones. Look at how cool and big these are. I'll, flip, I'll show you how big they are compared to me. So they ain't no joke, huh? Really cool. I'll take you to the back. Here's the Agard family. There's some more crypts. And the Agar family were a Revolutionary War guy as well. They're to the back. There used to be this metal fence around him. And this is Joseph Agard. Right here. Sergeant Van Shakes, New York. Revolutionary War, 1746 to 1836. It's really cool. And this is his family stone. All written around it. And this one's a weeping willow. My buddy says a weeping willow right here is a sign of someone, I think, who died in, in peace, basically. And here's another one. Just really, really love these old stones. Some of them really neat sayings. I believe the small stones that you see popped out of the ground. Let's see, like over here were children's stones. Do you see them right up here? Oops, I almost stepped on one. I think these are children's stones, actually. Died at birth or shortly thereafter. So, yeah, beautiful cemetery right out back of my place. So, if you ever come for a visit and I don't have uh, customers in there and you want a little tour of the Smithfield graveyard, I'd be happy to give you one. <laughs> so, I don't want to um, continue to uh, to keep stretching this video. I'm not really stretching this is just what's going on during the week with me so i figured since i forgot to take video during the show i'll just make this kind of like a little blurb or vlog post or whatever you call it and just show you a little bit more of of what's here let me flip it so there's the overview there's the overview of the graveyard but okay guys hope you're doing all well there wherever you are in this world it's been crazy i've been getting messages from people in india people on islands that i've never heard of <laughs> i don't know how they have reception out there but it's it's really kind of neat and um it makes me uh park it for a minute it makes me happy that people are enjoying my content and i hope you continue to do so and i'm gonna keep uh keep putting it out Next video, I promise, is going to be a part two of the conspiratorial video. And so, and I got a, a nice little, um, what do you call it, uh, message or not a message, 
there's something you can buy that I'm going to show, promote, okay? How's that, okay? So, I get tangled up in words sometimes when I got to do it on the spot, so. But, um, all right, guys, wish you well. If you've stuck with me this long, I hope you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Book Peddler. Step to date on book picks and store out store activity. Whole mess stuff. The life of a bookseller. Guys, take care.